Okay, let's see. Gotta put an arm here and a leg there, and she's done. The king has his throne. Look at this thing. I made a chair out of skin and, and legs and arms and a head with a light bulb in it. I bet it glows at nighttime. This is pretty gross. Let's sit in it. Oh yeah, this is nice. So I think when you sit down in the game, you actually get your uh, energy restored. I'm not sure if it works on this chair. I do know it works on benches, but my energy's looking pretty good right now, so I'm not gonna be able to tell. But yeah, I went on a little supply run yesterday because I was running low on supplies and I uh, came across the blueprint for this. And one other thing, check this out over here in the house. What time is it? It's hand time. It's half past wrist. <laughs> Look, it actually works. So in the game right now, it is, looks like it's about to go straight to noon. So it is officially midday right now. And I did some things around the base, kind of moved some stuff around and I wanted to build these little stands here. Uh, normally I jump up on the fence and I end up falling off, but now I've got this platform I can look out into the yard and I also put one over here as well. So I went ahead. Oh God, look who's here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my God, that guy is so hard to kill and the freaking trap just destroyed him. Way to go, multi-trap. Screw that guy. Wow. Ow. Wow. Good job. I got it, Kelvin. Thanks, though. Oh, and then also, Kelvin, when I was out finding those uh, finding those blueprints for the clock and the chair, I found a priest outfit, so I dressed Kelvin up as a priest. He'll take care of the demons if they dare to come back here. But look, I also put a spin trap right here, and then I've got the, uh, the grinder right here, and then another spin trap right here. I also went ahead and put a spotlight on this side of the wall and one on the other side of the wall, so I think the base is... For the lack of a better word, done. I say that with cautious optimism that the base is done. And I moved our upgrade uh, machine over here. And that's just a little update for the base. And you know what? I know we ended the episode yesterday in dramatic fashion by defending the base. But I think today we're actually going to start it the same way we ended it. Because I want to upgrade stuff. For whatever reason, it will not allow me to upgrade my crossbow. I was really hoping I could because I use it quite often. Uh, and to get a little more damage output of this would be pretty nice, but it's not going to happen. But what is going to happen today is this here revolver. It's going in. There, yeah, we'll stick that in there and then let's get some of the solo fight. And yeah, we're going to start off today with just going nuts and fighting some mutants. And then we're going to the residential bunker where we're going to unravel some more of this story. So the fight goes in, one, two, three, four, five, and six. All the traps are set. Probably should get Kelvin back in the base. Hold on. Uh, Father Kelvin, if you could, please follow me. We're going to go hide inside the base. Yeah, that's a good start. That's where I want you at. Well, this ought to be fun. Let's fire her up. Get ourselves an upgraded revolver. Hopefully at some point during today's video, it will turn to nighttime and we'll be at the base and I can show you the spotlights. They're pretty good. They don't cover a massive area, but they do help illuminate the yard in all directions now, which has been really nice at nighttime. That is still the coolest thing ever, isn't it? It is. Rhetorical question. Oh my Jesus. We got one of these guys coming to the house? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh yeah, this is a problem. That's what this is. He's getting shocked right now though, so that's helpful. Uh-huh. Get your ass off that fence. Yeah, this is not gonna be good. He's gonna ram my gate and break it, probably. Oh, these guys are just... Come on in, I guess. Whatever you want to do there. Get off the damn fence. Oh, jeez, you're in, huh? You made it all the way in. Calvin! Come on, Hokey Pokey Trap. Do your thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's work on him a little bit. You're okay. Oh, Calvin, that's gonna... Oh, no, this is a disaster. This has turned out to be a disaster. Oh, I think I killed the leg one. Okay, he's done for, but this guy's just up here, huh? That's where you live now. It's fine, though. Nothing else. Oh, and he's a dead man. I guess the electric fence and some of the spikes outside weakened him up pretty good. Here comes the next batch of guys. None of the traps are set right now, which is bad. Kelvin, get up. Get up right now. And you know what, Kelvin? I'm going to need you to maintain the base. Get over here. Maintain base. That means go outside and reset those traps because I'm not going out there and doing it. Yeah, I see him. Oh, I see him. That's your job. Go get it. Let's see if Kelvin's going to reset the uh, the traps for me. Oh, I think they broke a uh, piece of wire. So the electric fence is not electrocuting anymore, I don't believe. All right, that guy's dead. You're about to be dead. 
Oh, get him, Hokey Pokey. Hokey Pokey, what happened? You just stopped swinging. Oh, God. Oh, he's dead. Okay, Hokey Pokey worked. Yeah, you know what? Wasn't pretty, but uh, everything's working as intended. Mostly. It's mostly working as intended. Oh, reload. Got a couple more guys down here still being a nuisance. Let's get rid of this one. Try again. There we go. Got him in the butt. Right in his stupid butt. Didn't like that. Oh, we got a finger just eyeballing me here. Yeah, right in your stupid mouth. Y'all ain't gonna make it in. You're totally gonna... Ah, <laughs> you're dead. Okay, but you're gonna make it in now, huh? Where's Kelvin? Did y'all kill him? I'm gonna have to go out there and find Father Kelvin in a minute. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. A little bit more rowdy than I anticipated. This guy's still around, huh? Go to your knees. Oh, he's dead. Hey, but look at this. Tons of mutant armor today. I don't mind the chaos at all when they bring presents like mutant armor. Let's go ahead and load this back up. Get our mutant armor off this guy. The slinky. Get some off the fingers. This guy's got armor, but he's all over the spikes. I'm probably going to poke myself getting this. Ow. Yep. Yep. Ow. Got it. It's worth it. Totally worth it. Ow. Jesus Christ. Okay. Ow. Kelvin, you're alive. Good for you. Fix this gate. Fix everything. Just get your little hammer out and start pounding away. Reset all the traps, too. Yeah, I could have sworn I heard... Yep, right here. There it is. Basically, when they break a wire, if you're listening, you can hear it break. It kind of makes a wind-down noise, like the power was just turned off. But I'm pretty sure it's only turned off to the section that they end up removing the wire from. So the rest of the fence was working. You know, all the traps seem to have went off during the fight, which is good. Except for this one. No one came over here. Another successful defense. I see another spot missing a wire. There's my wire on the ground. And there's one right there. Okay, so boom. And boom. And pick that up. Yeah, they totally destroyed this part of the fence. There we go. Fixed. This trap didn't go off. And that trap didn't get... Oh, did it? Did it? Yeah, someone got mulched. And that one's good. Okay. The golden revolver. So it should do more damage now. It already did pretty good damage. And at some point, I'll do the rifle as well. Yeah, as I'm sitting here in the chair, I did realize that it filled back up my, my energy, which is different than your stamina. So the chair works as intended, as gross as it may be. It works! Alright, I've pretty much got a full set of mutant armor on currently, but I'm gonna grab some more. If I could get on top of my bed, there we go. Grab some more, just to bring with us, because I don't know what's gonna happen in this residential bunker. But I can assure you this, it's not gonna be peaceful in there. So up, up! And away! We are getting pretty close to the end of the series, and I wanted to take some time out of the video to thank you guys who have been watching it, commenting on it, leaving likes on it. Appreciate that very, very much. And I am just genuinely happy that you guys have enjoyed it so far. They've done a lot with this game since early access. I am running out of altitude. Looks like we're landing here. Uh, the residential bunker should be somewhere in front of me, but you know what? It's not showing up on the map for whatever reason. And I'm pretty sure it was showing up on the map previously as a flashing bed. Maybe we have to get closer to the location. I just know it's over here somewhere. So yeah, once again, thank you for enjoying the series so far. We're going to be starting Grounded tomorrow. Tomorrow, April the 16th. I do realize on my last video, for whatever reason, I said November the 16th, okay? I don't know what's on my mind half the time I'm saying words. I just say words. Is that a helicopter? There's a helicopter on the golf course that hasn't taken off yet. This is something I haven't noticed before. Let's go check it out. Okay. Yep, it's taken off now. And that is the same location we've been to before where the uh, maintenance bunker is located. So we don't need to go over there. Would you leave me alone? I see you there. Don't mess with me today, pal. Not in the mood! I am extremely curious to know why it has disappeared off of my map. And where the heck is it? Am I on the right side of the island? Maybe I'm not. That would be embarrassing. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's all the way at the top now. It's starting to come into view. God, we got a long way to go. Let's take a golf cart. There are cannibals around me. I hear them, but I just don't care currently. I want to get out of here. Get to where we're going before it turns dark. Yeah! Give me that. Oh, I'm full. Damn it. Get in the golf cart. And then I guess I'll just follow the path and hopefully make it to where I'm going. Hopefully. With minimal crashes along the way. Yesterday, I drove right off a cliff. If you missed yesterday's episode, make sure to check it out. It was a fun one. You know, sticking to the path seems like a smart idea so I don't run into everything. But 
The path has a lot of turns in it, so this is going to take forever still to get to this residential bunker. Got to go around this lake. Watch out, deers. Coming through. Okay, we're going off-roading. Against my better judgment here. It's what we must do. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's reverse that. Oh, cannibals. That's cool. Hey, guys. Just, no. Nope. Just coming through. Excuse me. Okay. All right. This looks like a cliff. Let's hop off. I guess I know better. Yeah. Hold on. Get me out of this thing. Okay. Where am I at? Uh... Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, I blocked it, because I am the parry master. Never forget that. Yeah, we're closer. Still not close at all, but closer. I guess we're going on foot now. Unless I can find something to jump off of. It's one of the things I like about this game the most is the traversal around the map. You can go it on foot. You can use a unicycle, a hang glider, golf carts. You can even set up a series of zip lines if you want to and just zip line around the entire island. There is no shortage of ways that you can travel. Okay, but we'll get there soon now. In a very stupid decision, I forgot to check my batteries before I left the house. I have a shelf with two stacks of batteries on it. I have one spare battery after this one runs out. Not ideal, but hopefully we'll find some in the residential bunker. Hey, it's a residential bunker. It should be filled with batteries. Everybody has that little drawer in their house with batteries, right? I know I do. We're almost there. I can see it on the map. And I can hear a helicopter taking off, probably Jianyu. Or maybe the helicopter's landing for once and we can get in it and finally leave this place. Hopefully we'll get some more answers to the story today now the helicopter's flying away. So far what we know is that we have been hired by whom? Not sure, but to come find out what happened to the Puftons. And well, we found out. They were turned into mutants when the cube, oh God. There's cannibals out here, and there is a landed helicopter, but I cannot get inside of it, I don't think. It'd be cool if we could and just fly away. There's got to be supplies around it, right? Yes. What is that? 9mm ammo. Excuse me. How do we get in this? Uh, we're going in. Screw that. We'll, we'll come back out, and we'll check out the helicopter during the daylight. But yeah, there's a giant cube made of solophyte, a rare mineral only found on this island, apparently. And that giant cube, it activates every so often, and when it activates... All humans turn into mutants, and apparently some humans are more resistant than others. Case in point, Virginia, she's not a full mutant. Same with Timmy, except Timmy had an entirely different experience over in Site A. An artifact is what did that to him, so he's part mutant as well. Looks like we can go in there. And can we go in here? No. And nothing that way. So yeah, we got to come back down these stairs and use a key card, to which I'm sure I have. Beep, beep. Yes. To go in here. We also know there's a character named Jianyu, who used to work for Puffcore and the Puffins, but apparently he turned and is working as a spy for Sahara Corp, which is the competing company that also wanted rights to this island. But I think Puffcore outbid them. There are cultists that came to this island, either in search of an artifact, or they brought the artifact here, broke it up into a bunch of pieces, and we've been finding all the pieces as we've been playing. Not entirely sure of their role yet. We have found books and other lore that have expressed some sort of dimensional rift. So we did find a spaceship inside of a cave with astronauts from a different dimension possibly it's crazy let's go in this door the residential bunker oh a cutscene holy shit here we go yeah get him oh grenade oh that's timmy get him timmy dodge them babies eric boom get him eric Oh, sh oh, John, you just shot Eric. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, I'm alive. I'm alive. I don't know who ended up killing the mutant, but it almost ate us. Yeah, that was Timmy LeBlanc, little Timmy from the forest, who we rescued when we were playing as title character Eric LeBlanc. So we just saw Timmy and his dad, Eric on the island before we knew that Timmy was here, but now we know his dad's here as well. And then Janyu showed up, shot Eric, 
Not sure what happened to Timmy. Don't know who killed this big beast. Be really cool to get some uh, mutant armor off of him, but I guess that's not going to happen. We are inside of the residential bunker. Let's see what we've got in here. I remember a fair amount about this bunker. Namely, though, this is where we're... Okay, I missed. Not off to a good start today. Namely, though, this is where we're going to get the katana at, which is my favorite weapon in the... Are you serious right now? This is my favorite weapon in the... Gotcha. Did not get you. What is happening? Would love to shoot that leg. I know that much. Didn't get it again. Hey, guy. Do you not see me? That's cool. Leg shot. First try. <laughs> and then we chop him. We dice him. And we slice him into a million pieces. Can we pick up all the arrows that I missed my shots with? Don't judge me. It's the first thing I'm doing today is playing this game, okay? I haven't got my motor skills about me yet. It's early in the morning. Oh boy, why are there three of you? Okay, don't you block that exit. Come through the hot gates where your numbers mean nothing. Where 300 Spartans stood up to an entire empire. Yeah! <laughs> May you live forever, Nefiartes. Yeah! Looks like it's just you and me now, pal. Oh, don't try to run from this. Don't try to run from this. You crazy? Okay, that worked out well. Thanks, King Leonidas. I knew you'd come in handy one day. I hear something else though. We're not, we're still not alone. Definitely hear something else. Let's re-up on our armor. Get a full set going again. That should do. And I think, uh, yep, there's a piece there. And then we got some supplies here. Batteries, yeah. I knew there'd be batteries in here. Huh, the last one, eh? The last of your people. Doesn't notice me yet. That's good. Oh, he may notice me now. And fire! Oh, ho, 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 ho. right in the dome. Suck it. All right, let's go in here. First room. See what we've got. It's a resident. Did I say it's a resident? I meant a residence. Ahem. <clears throat> Puffton on creating an empire by Jack Holt. Spoiler alert. Uh, go ahead and mute the video for the next 15 seconds if you don't want to hear this spoiler. Everybody else? Give, everyone, give him a second to mute. We, ladies and gentlemen, are Jack Holt. Friends of the Puftons, which is why we have come here searching for him. We wrote that book. Okay, everyone else should be back now. Spoiler is over. You're fine. Hank, this is the book I told you about. Mostly accurate. I got some for all the residents, Ed. Oh, so Edward Pufton liked that book and bought a whole bunch for his residence. Seems like he likes Jack Holt. Cool. Vodka bottle. Uh, medicine. Probably gonna need that today. Some solar fight. Candy. And more supplies. Oh, what are you? Nine millimeter, nine millimeter. Okay, we're starting to get our uh, ammo stockpile back up, which is really good. Got some medicine there. Ooh, more ammo. More 9mm. Good, good, good. What are you with? You are a flashlight attachment. I have tried this once before, but for whatever reason, I cannot put the flashlight attachment on my shotgun. But I have literally seen other people with a flashlight attachment on their shotgun. I'm going to combine the two. And then I'm going to try to put on the flashlight. What I've done is taken off the laser pointer. Maybe now I can do it? Oh, you know what? That's why it's two different... Oh, no, no, it's still the same flashlight, but now it's going to work, huh? Now it's going to work. Interesting. I've tried that a dozen times, but it must have been because I already had the laser on. But now we have a shotgun with a flashlight on it. Now we're talking. But again, we're only using the guns in case of an emergency. All right. I think the first residential space has been checked and cleared. On to the next. All right, let's make sure there's no more mutants. Yeah, there is one. I see a shadowy figure straight ahead of me. I'm going to shoot an arrow, and I hit him. Here comes the fingers out of nowhere. Just roaming the halls, it looks like. Oh, good. Good! Looks like I've got my aim. Chop him up! You're done for! 
I don't know what happened to the other mutant I just shot, but he's certainly not dead yet. He's around the corner in that next room. We should take him out before he wanders in as we're checking on this uh, next place we're about to go into. So where are you? There you is. Here I is. Come and get some. Okay. Yeah. You're going to give me the opportunity. I'll take it all. off with your head. We got him. Oh, I hear another one. Not sure where the other one's at, but I definitely just heard another moan somewhere. I don't want to go too far ahead. But I also don't want to get ambushed. I think we're good. I'm going to go in this residential bunker. See what's in here. Maybe this is where the moan came from. Anybody in here? Babies! <laughs> Got him! That's the quickest I've ever dispatched of three babies. Good for me. Golf ball. Ha! I knew I heard somebody else. Where were you hiding? Yeah! That'll teach you to sneak up on somebody. Okay, back to what we were doing. Uh, I need a little food and water. You know what? I brought the uh, I brought some boiled meat, which is the strength buff. Doesn't give me extra strength, but it helps my uh, my meter grow. We went over this. I am at uh, level 23 strength. I am pretty sure though that it caps out at 50, so I'm not even half as strong as I could be right now. Anyways, they gave me a little food and water, but if I pick up the bodies and just start throwing them around, I could probably get to level 24 really quick, so I'm gonna take a few seconds and do just that. Maybe it doesn't work with bodies. I thought that it did, but I can't tell if the if the meter's moving at all, really. I don't think it is. When I was throwing logs, you could actually see it moving. I mean, 10 log throws and I was going through an entire level. It's crazy. Yeah, this body doesn't seem to be helping me out at all. Okay, well, science. And now we know. What else do we have in here? Some light bulbs, always welcomed and appreciated. Some lore, perhaps? It's Hank, good news. We have managed to find both the clubs and the golf balls. We want to thank you for all your help. If you're ever out on the links, let's whack a few balls around. Miles Goldstein, okay. Well, there was a resident here in search for balls and clubs, and it looks like they found them and got them to him. I have, in my inventory, a stockpile of this tech mesh. I wanted to make uh, a tech mesh armor suit. Let's see if I can uh, print another one out here. Uh, it doesn't seem to be... Oh, someone's next to me. I saw your shadow. Where do you guys keep coming from? This guy's swinging like crazy. It's like KSI in a boxing match. Look at him. No form at all. Yeah! Die, please. Please die. There we go. We got him. Give me that. Yeah, I should be able to put some ink in here, though. There we go. All right, finish printing out, please. And it's done. Put that in our inventory. And here's all the tech mesh pieces I have. I need one more for a full set. But if I throw that on the mat, that is just one ingredient to make the tech mesh armor. Look at this list. Wires, tapes, electronics, and batteries, which is why I've been stockpiling all these things at my house. So I can make a full set of this for the final location we'll have to go to we'll go in with tech mesh which i believe is the best armor in the game so that is something i have sneakily been working on Let's see what else we have around here i'll go ahead and eat these why not mm, some crunchy wunchies my favorite oh god where do you guys keep coming from Woo! you scared me sir oh god i'm not reloaded you knock it off get off the furniture you make me sick oh god this is someone's house have some respect Shot him right in the pelvis. Leg shot. Now you're mine, pal. Now you're mine. Okay. Oh, looks like it's probably going to be a locked door. Yeah, cannot get in there. So down it is. What's going to be down here? Floor number two. And then there's another floor. Hey, baby. Hello. <laughs> That's what you get. I do not regret killing babies in this game. Let me get... My arrow back, thank you, and thank you. And then before we go down this hall, is, is there another way to go down here as well? Uh, doesn't look like it. Looks like it's all caved in. We've got some rocks. Nowhere to go. Okay. Is this going to be like the other floor we were just on where there's just a whole pile of mutants waiting for me? Because if so, we should take them out first. Uh, no, it looks pretty clear. All right, let's start clearing out these rooms. All right. I feel like I just heard something juicy. But I don't see anything juicy. So maybe we're good. We've got stuff. Doris, Ed's having dreams about the gold city again. I don't know what to do. Barb. So Barbara Puffton 
is concerned for her husband because he's having reoccurring dreams about a golden city. And I believe we actually got a drawing of this very same thing earlier in the game. A golden city. You mean a city made of solophyte, perhaps? Another piece of lore. Yeah, we're learning stuff today. I like this. Doris, Ed's very worried about the soft opening. He's having visions of something very bad happening. He thinks he might have gotten the locations of the bunkers wrong. Barb, well, should have trusted that intuition because something very bad did happen, did happen, and they all turned to mutants, and then I shot the Puftons to death. Because I had to. Slug ammo, slug ammo. Leather suit collected. That is for Virginia. We'll give her a leather suit next time we see her. Got some MREs there. Cooking pot. Bada boom, bada bam. Room clear. Time for another soup bonus. Let's do it. Food and water's looking good. Energy's looking pretty good. Got a comment, though, asking me to start using my energy mix. So you've got it. Let's use some. Our guy gave me a little bit. And then this is the energy mix plus. There we go. That's what I need to start using. Energy Mix Plus. Now, how do I make it? I think I've got it. Let's see what I just made. I'm not even sure what I just made. Energy Plus. Got it. It's chicory, fireweed, and I believe it was the Devil's Club. All right. We've got Energy Mix Plus, Health Mix Plus, regular Health Mix, and tons of meds. We are set. Let's keep it moving. I feel like this island is a ticking time bomb, and it's only a matter of time before that cube goes off again, and I'm not going to be on this island when it does. I'll tell you that much. Get the hell out of here as soon as possible. See if we can jumpstart a helicopter once I'm out of here. Oh, somebody like cats. Uh, listen, let's talk about this, and I don't want to. I don't want to hear any back sass in the comments. But dogs are far superior in every conceivable way to cats, and that is the end of the discussion. Thank you for listening, Katara. Oh, we're going to put this thing in the machine when we get home and make a golden katana. Look at the stats on the katana. Super fast, good strength, good blocking. This is an, a well-rounded weapon. Now, obviously, the axe has more strength, but way slower. And when we upgrade this, I think the strength will be rivaled with the katana and the fireman's axe, thus giving the, ta the katana the major advantage because how fast you can swing it. So yeah, we're gonna upgrade this thing when we get back, but look at that. Talk about stun locking your enemy. Woo, I'll have to test it out on the first guy I see. All right, let's make sure we don't miss anything. We are finding juicy bits of information. Here's another piece. Doc, calm down, nothing will happen. Puffton lives in a fantasy land. The countdown is a fairy tale, Jianyu. Well, I don't think it was John Yu, and I think you knew that. The activation will kill us all. And there's like a formula above it. Yeah, so somebody knew that this thing was going to go off. The numbers are wrong. Yeah, they got the uh, countdown wrong. Leave the island before activation. Yes, so the doctor knew. I think it was uh, Dr. Masaki. We've been seeing his lore around the map. Yep. Well, Dr. Masaki knew what was up. It's too bad nobody listened to him. Because if they had, they might still be alive right now. Some ramen noodles, yeah. All right, let's go to the next room. Looks like this might be the final room before we go into this next section. Ew. This one's got gel everywhere. Is there a mutant in here? Hello? Mutant behind the door? Nope, we're good. Okay, clear. Batteries? Uh-huh. Gourd. Found some old fishing villages here. Lots of bodies, Hank. Oh, that's actually a really good piece of information. This is where you find a lot of the blueprints. All four of those circles are blueprint locations. I got the clock and the chair at the, uh, the snow one up on top of the mountain. So even if I hadn't run across those yesterday, I would have found them today. Uh, you know what I could do? So I don't leave those two electronics behind. Let's make our first two pieces of tech mesh right now. Or tech armor, rather. I'm gonna need wires, batteries, and tape. Two wires, two tape. Both of my spare batteries. <laughs> That's pretty stupid lagging, don't do it. I'm doing it. Look at that, we've got our first piece of tech armor. I'll just keep that stored for now. But now I can pick up those two electronics. And listen, if it comes down to it being too dark, we still have the night vision goggles. I have a torch that I can hold, you know, the stick with the rope on. Hey, batteries, never mind. Crisis averted. 
Plus, I still have my lighter too. So we have other sources of light. We good. What are you? Spacesuit collected. You have got to be kidding me. Is this one that I can wear? Or is this for like my friends? I've got a leather jacket, a tactical jacket, tuxedo, pajamas, spacesuit. Put it on. Well, I kind of wanted to see what the spacesuit looked like. But first of all, we're in terrible lighting. And secondly, uh, I have mutant armor covering my entire body. We'll put it on Kelvin when we get home and see what he looks like. But we are not done over here yet. Looks like we've got some good information possibly on this computer here. Gord, not sure who these guys are supposed to be. We found eight of them in cave D7. Yeah, not sure who they're supposed to be either. And then we also have a location computer. We just discovered the luxury bunker. More batteries, so see? No problem with the batteries. We got two to replace the two we just used up. We're good again. I knew there were gonna be a lot of batteries in the residential bunker. Had to be. All right, I think we are good to go to the next area. Let's move it. Ah, it's a little security room. Who do we have here? Oh, it's Timmy. He's locked up. Or at least he's trying to get past a certain door. I don't guess he's locked up at all. I thought maybe that was a jail cell that John you put him in, but I don't think John you would have let him keep his gun. What do we have? Hank, I'm worried about John you. If anything happens to me, send work to Jack Holt. He wrote a book about me once. He's press, but I trust him. He can uncover what happened here and make sure my daughter is safe. Ed. Well, well, well. That goes back to the spoiler I told you guys earlier. Now we know exactly what we know. Oh, looks like we can unlock the door for Timmy. Now we got a live feed here. There you go, Timmy. I don't think that's going to be the last time we see him. Uh, I've also got some stuff on this computer here as well. Hank. A bunch of crazies arrive by boat and seem to think killing themselves on this island will send them to the promised land. Do we have insurance for this? So the cultists were killing themselves? I mean, we saw a little footage where actually John Yu killed a handful of them, but maybe they came here to do a mass suicide pact so they can go to the promised land, kill themselves with the artifact. Interesting. So we're finding out a little bit more about the cultists as well. And I guess now we'll go down here and deal with these babies! Where the hell did you go? Oh, there you are. Okay, I see you. I see you. Come here! Alright, you guys are being real tough to get to. There we go. Gotcha. Sliced you up into a billion pieces. You're lucky you're in a corner. Alright, I got him too. Jeez. And this is where we're gonna need our flashlight. Sub-level five. Oh, are we out of here? It looks like it might be the end. Let's not open that yet. What's in here? Medical? Oh, this guy's got a mask on. We can take it. It's a gold mask. Apparently, you can scare off some of the cannibals with this mask. If you put it on and put it up to your face, they kind of cower away from you. But I don't know which cannibals. There's so many different types. I never use it. But it is a cool find nonetheless. Yeah, here's some of these cultists down here now. Oh, there's a camera. Let's see what we've got. Movie time. Oh, God, yeah, he's cut his own throat just then, I believe. Yeah, they're all killing each other. They're killing themselves. Look at this guy. Psychos. Yep, that email was right. They are killing themselves on the island. Interesting. In hopes to be taken to the promised land. So, the, yeah, I guess this is the uh, bunker's morgue. And this is where they were finding the, uh, taking the bodies that they were finding. All right, key card. Do me good. Please work. Yes. We have got a cave here. We may be on our way out of the residential bunker. I think we might have done it. Easy peasy. Oh, you know what? I wonder if... Oh, you know, I just realized something. Do you guys remember when we went to go get the armor upgrade machine? It was behind some locked doors, and I said, we can't get in there yet. 
And so I'm wondering if that's where Timmy was on that camera, trying to get into the VIP bunker. And we unlocked the door for him and also unlocked the door for ourselves. So now we can get into that bunker that we couldn't get into before. I believe I might be right on that one. Any bats gonna scare me today? Kind of expecting it, so you probably won't scare me, bats. If you wanna pop out now, now's your chance. Good, let's get out of here. Oh, I hear the helicopter taking off again. I definitely hear it. Where are you? Flew away. We're on that giant lake. I wanna go back over towards the entrance of the residential bunker because we did see a helicopter that had landed over here, and I just wonder if there's some supplies around it, maybe some ammo, some good stuff we can grab. There were a lot of cannibals around, so I kind of ran inside the bunker before I had a chance to check. Oh, God, cannibal! I will deal with him in just a second. And this is where we saw the helicopter. It's still here, okay. Looks like the cannibals and mutants overcame the driver of this here helicopter. Yeah, there's stuff in here. We've got uh, some 9 millimeter bullets and a camouflage suit. We also have cannibals around us. I just heard one. There you are. Come on, buddy. Oh, man. Just missed so bad. He was like four feet away from me. That's embarrassing. Won't miss this time, though. I missed that time as well. Didn't miss that time. Your armor is off of you, pal. Which means you're as good as dead. And then you're going to get the katana. That's not the katana. That's the katana. You're going to get it. Don't give him a second to get up. Just slice and dice. Dead. You want to try my katana out too? Oh, testing the waters, are you? Here I come. Yeah, so fast. So fast. And katana. You want it? Yes. A true champion enters the arena. Finally, a challenge. <laughs> Not much of a challenge. Good lord, you guys just keep on coming, huh? You got bone armor on. You're gonna be a little tougher, eh? Not tough enough. It dismembers so quickly that even if they are still alive, there's not much they can do when they're missing their leg or an arm. Wow. Holy smokes. Yep. And that is why they put the katana in one of the last caves. It is truly an overpowered weapon, and I don't mind having it one bit. Yep. We got another guy coming at us here. Nobody learns. Nobody learns their lesson around these parts. Just keep testing me, don't they? All right, skin pouch collected. Yeah, I'd say we're good here. All right, we'll head back home and we will upgrade the katana next. Uh, I got some bad news for you guys. On the flight home, the game crashed. Now, after about 40 hours of gameplay, that is the first crash I've had in this game. But the way this game works, if you don't save your game, it puts you back at your previous save. And for us, that was the very start of this episode before I upgraded the revolver. So... On my own time, I'm going to upgrade the revolver, go back to the residential bunker, do all that stuff all over again. And then on the next episode, we will upgrade the katana to start out the episode, and we will be going to the final location, the VIP bunker. I am so sorry for the anticlimactic ending that we're going to have to just deal with today, but that's just the way she goes sometimes. And with that, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and as always, it's been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time.